Hey, good morning, good afternoon. Hello, hello. You guys, this is gonna be a quick little crafty chatty session. So um, I have the Spectrum collection, still tons of paper. This is the two paper pads that I got and it's just combined now. I was once keeping them separated, now they're together. And then I have the ephemera bits, which includes 145 die cut pieces as well. So, hey Dawn, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Ah, uh, so, um, I'm just gonna hang out for a minute. I'm gonna make maybe two, three quick cards and then I gotta go. I have a thrift store date with my mom this morning and my daughter. We're going thrift store shopping. The three of us like to do that like hmm, once every two months or so. And um, so we're gonna do that today. And she's running a pumpkin patch and I actually wanted to jump on here live because I'm gonna be live. Hi, Sylvia, good morning. Hello, Gloria. Hi, Vicki. Oh, good morning, everyone. So yeah, I just wanted to jump on because I hadn't really talked about it, but I'm doing a live with Lynn over at LV Handcrafted at 4 p.m. Central Time today. Um, and we are gonna be making junk journals live. And she has never made one, y'all. Not one time. So total newbie, and she wanted to to uh, have a session with me and so we're doing it live and anyone's welcome to come join us on her channel. So I hope that you will. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a quick live here with you this morning. Um, I am trying to finish up some cards for the Mindless Crafting um, card drive, which is for soldiers, okay? And I have a video about it on my channel there's lots of videos and information about it on the Mindless Crafting channel. I know Gloria was, I think Gloria, you're mailing off your cards this weekend. I am trying to do the same. So I'm gonna play with this one more time, this gorgeous paper pad. And I think I'm gonna play with some of the more plain pages, maybe even some of the wild pages. Like I could see myself using these Easily, no problem, no ephemera needed. These could all go in my journal. Oh, there's my mom calling me, yeah. It's gonna be a short live. But um, I thought maybe I'd use some of these papers. So let's just, you know, I was uh, making a video for you guys for this week. Of course, I've been at it since early this morning. Good morning, Marilyn, welcome. Hi, Jean, how are you? Long time no see. I mean, I got to chat with you a little bit. Hi, Teresa, uh, over in Elizabeth's live, but it had been a long time since I'd seen you and I hope you're well. Um, Jamie Watts, good morning. Okay, so let's make some cards with these. And I'm gonna make A2. I usually make A2 cards for donation. This is a six by eight paper. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna think about what paper, what direction this paper is going. It's just kind of crazy. And I know the backs are pretty neutral. So I'm just gonna take the paper and it's six by eight. So basically, I'm just gonna take it and trim it down. I think I'll do two at a time because we're in a hurry here. <laughs> I'm gonna trim this down to five and a quarter on the six inch side, okay? So five and a quarter on the six inch side. Uh, this is thick paper, so yeah, my trimmer's like not happy with that choice to do two pages at once. There we go. Okay, so now we've got five and a quarter by eight. We'll turn it and do this at four. So I can get two card fronts from every sheet. Okay, so 
suddenly we have a whole bunch of card bases. You know, honestly, I think if you cut this paper to five and a half and then you score it at four and a quarter, I mean, you could trim a little off, um, then it would be a little smaller than an A2, but I don't think people really care. If it, it would fit in an A2 envelope, you know what I mean? Just a thought. Okay, so that I cut that to five and a quarter, and now I'm cutting this to four. And before you know it, we're just gonna have so many card fronts. And then I'm gonna pull out that ephemera, and we're just gonna slam out some really quick cards. And then I gotta go. <laughs> Hi, my scrapbook loft, how are you? Yeah, this paper kit is gorgeous. I do think that Mindless Crafting has it back in stock, Jean. Um, you have to go over there and check it out. Uh, they have had to restock it, I don't know, four or five times because it was just, everybody loves it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is separate these pages like this. So now we have four like this four like this. And then when I'm mass making you guys and I'm making, uh, I'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit here. Oh, well, we could just turn a couple horizontal. I mean, we can have portrait, we can have horizontal. But when I'm mass making, this is something I do. I'm just zoom out a little bit here. And um, I lay all my fronts out and then I'll just start decorating them at the same time. So let's see, I'm not planning on bringing in any stamp sets, but I might need to. I just gotta get my eye on this ephemera. I hadn't opened it until we got here live. Ooh, I see four tags. Let's start with those because I'm looking for a design uh, that I can design like four at the same time. So I like it when there's pieces like this, like duplicates. Okay, I really like these little tickets too. These are fun. Okay, ooh, I like that wonkiness there. So we'll just duplicate that. Okay, I definitely want some flowers on this. I don't know where my flowers are. Um, I have the laser cut flowers that go with this kit. I don't know where those are right now. So I'm going to try to just play with what this kit has in it, what this ephemera kit has in it. And we'll go from there. So how is everyone doing today? Thank you, Dawn, you're so awesome. Thanks for sharing the links. I appreciate it. Nice, I'm glad you're just gonna like hang out, listen and watch. That, that's perfect. You keep crafting, cause that's the spirit. This is so fabulous. It looks like there are some sentiments in here. So let me dig for one fine day, I don't know about that. I don't know. That might make sense, more sense to others than it makes sense to me. All right. The story of today, nothing but blue skies. Kind of like that. Oh, this one needs a flower or a leaf. Yeah. I'm not going to be too precious about this ephemera because we're just making some quick cards and I've got ephemera coming out my ears so remember this eh. um <laughs> sparkle heart just came in she noticed I was doing a live and she just kind of put her head down and walked away so yeah we will be going soon joyful I like that you know joyful's all year long right not just at Christmas have a joyful heart all year long. Let's put this one over here. This one really needs flowers, y'all. <laughs> Shay, good morning, hon. How are you? See, it only has this one humongous flower in it. 
I mean, it's not that I can't work with it because I can, but I'd rather just, oh, whatever. I'd rather keep it intact, but I don't have time for that. So I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Saturday is my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite days of the week because it's my crafty day. It's when I come in and get to make all my videos for the week, and but it's also a day when I go and do things with my kids. My husband always works on Saturdays. Um, so it's just kind of our, our day just to do whatever, and then Sunday is always Sunday fun day, which starts with church, and then we do other fun activities. Oh, okay, that's working for me. I kind of do when I stamp on these, but just in black ink. I don't want to color anything. I just want a little bit of something, something right there. So, you guys, I need a D stash so bad. So, so bad. Let's see. Ooh, I'm just going to grab the first one that I, I pulled out this bow bunny first. So, let's go with this. Yep, my mom's calling me again. She is very uh, consistent. <laughs> ah, she's working the pumpkin patch at her church the next few weekends. It's so cool, you guys. There's this organization. It's like called the Pumpkin Patch Organization. I don't know. It's a nonprofit. And... Um, her church is they do this every year they have this pumpkin patch and so they get all of their pumpkins from this nonprofit which is a, a Navajo from a Navajo reservation in New Mexico so they get all their pumpkins from there and then you know sell them and it raises money for the church and it helps the Navajo people which, I mean, there, our reservations are like the poorest places in America, right? So we know, basically, these pumpkins bless everybody. And although I'm not the biggest, like, person when it comes to Halloween anymore, and I know that most people get pumpkins to carve them, I just love it. I love love what they do. I love what that does. And I actually buy pumpkins and just use them for fall decoration. But my kids also do love. Yes, Jean, my mom is on a mission. <laughs> do not break a thrifty Saturday date shopping date, right? Don't do it. Um, but yeah, my kids love to carve pumpkins. Um, Sparkle Hearts wanting to do a Barbie pumpkin this year. We've done Hello Kitty. We've done all the things, scary pumpkins, cute pumpkins. It's just fun. It's just fun. I don't want to lose my design here. So that's why I just keep bringing this packaging, oops, back in. Um, and I'm obviously having hit and miss because this is not the appropriate way to stamp. But we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to worry about that. So I was recording a video for y'all this morning and I had this thought, like, don't sweat the small stuff. And if we're paper crafting, I'm sorry, it's just all small stuff. So don't get worked up when things don't go right. You guys, I'm going to leave, you know, um, I always try to leave different things that, in my video to show that, hey, I struggle too, or I don't do things perfectly. Um, but yeah, that was just a little PSA for all my crafty friends who may be crafting this weekend. Don't sweat the small stuff. If it doesn't go according to plan, it's okay. Um, I, my hubby for my birthday, um, back in August, bought me and him tickets to see T Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. So we went to their Restless Leg Tour, um, con whatever, stand-up. <laughs> it was really a variety show. But we went last night, and oh my gosh, it was so awesome, you guys. Oh, it was just... 
laughter, laughter, laughter. So good for the soul. And you know what? What I find inspiration, like just seeing how creative those ladies were and putting their show together helps me be more creative. It's like, how, how can I be more creative? I want to be more creative. So that was fun and just lots of laughter. My hubby is just the biggest sweetheart ever. Um, let's see. The best of everything. I think that could work. You are my rainbow. Heck yeah. Somebody needs to hear that. Okay. I also like the best of everything. We have four cards. They need to be glued down. This is what I love, you guys. Pattern paper and ephemera. I mean, seriously. I just love it. It's so fast, especially for like, you know, cards for donation and stuff. Oh, I know some of y'all are going to be real excited, but... I was, um, I've been planning my 2024 goals for myself. Like I get really excited about a new year and getting the opportunity to set new goals for myself and do more of the things that I love to do and just be ambitious. It's when my ambition really kicks in. So I've been setting my 2024 goals for my channel and I don't know, I'm so fired up. I kind of just want to start them now. But basically, I started card making in case, for those of you who don't know, I know I share it here and there, but the whole reason I started card making was as a ministry for my church. They needed cards and I wanted to make cards. Well, basically, I was a busy mom with two little kids our first card is glued. And um, I wanted a way to bless the church, but I couldn't do all the women's groups and all the things. I couldn't do all that. My schedule was too jam-packed. And I've always needed a creative outlet. So I've been a painter. I've done ceramics. I've done jewelry making. I mean, seriously, my whole life, I've been creative and doing some kind of hobby. In college, I made postcards, like artistic postcards that I sold in my friend's boutique. It's just, I was like Toby with five jobs and people joked about it, but um, I had to pay my way. And so it took five jobs. So anyways, I was hanging out with my hubby one night, the kids were asleep and I was like, I want to find a craft that is quiet, that isn't. I don't have to have the computer. Hey, Judy, welcome. And um, that blesses others. I want to find a way for it to also be like a ministry that blesses other people. And I was like, you know, I used to make postcards in college. Maybe I could make cards or something. And I went on and I searched how to make handmade cards. And I have never looked back. Um, I found Amy R from Prairie Paper Inc. and I found Crazy Paper Chick, Alicia. Well, I think she goes, she's Alyssa, Alicia. La, 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 la. Um, Call Me Crafty Gal is Alicia, like Patricia, but Alicia. And Crazy Paper Chick is Alicia, but they're spelled the same. <laughs> Okay, anyways, I found them, and I found Not Too Shabby, and I just never looked back from there. I spent way too much money, but I've, I mean, way too much money in this hobby, I think. Uh, but I've had so much fun, and I've always donated. I've always made card donations. Like, that's where it started, and I always want that to be the heart of what I do. So I will always do that. So I donate cards to my church all year, every year. But then I also, you know, been joining different card drives, stuff like that. All right. I learned all this from my mom. She's the ultimate giver 
and Good Samaritan. She and my father brought me up that way my whole life. We were always serving the community in some way and doing community service. Anyways, she makes prayer shawls because she likes to crochet. And she makes prayer shawls for like uh, cancer patients or just anyone who needs to be uplifted. And I was, so I've been making more junk journals. You guys know this. And I'm making my cards. And I'm like, okay, my cards have purpose because I donate. I don't really sell any of my cards. I donate almost all of them or use them or give them as gifts. That's the way that I do my cards. Um, so I was like, how can I give my junk journals more purpose? And I've decided I'm going to start making prayer journals every month. That's my goal, to make five a month each month in 2024 and donate them to, like, the church or whoever. Like, I'm going to give some to my mom so when she gives out her prayer shawls, someone can get a shawl and a journal. And, uh, yeah, so I am so excited because that's going to give my junk journaling more purpose too. I need that kind of purpose. Um, I need, and this is, some people are going to tune out at this point and, and that's okay. But, um, you know, I, I have Christ, uh, all up in my craft room and, um, I have to have purpose or else I lose the joy, to be honest. Um, it just feels superficial and I just have to have more purpose. So I'm really excited. I found a way to use my journals that I make and my cards as blessings for others. And that just excites me. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, I really wanna add twine to these but I th but I think I won't and here's why these have to be shipped to mindless crafting then mindless crafting has to ship them to the nonprofit organization the nonprofit organization has to ship them overseas to our soldiers who are deployed so uh, whoops it's okay everything's fine um, so I think I'm going to leave them not, you know, two dimensional. I'm not going to put very many dimensional things because they've got a long road ahead of them. These cards do because then the soldiers get them and then they're going to ship them back to the U S probably. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep these simple. That makes sense, right? <laughs> <laughs> they're still beautiful so I'm going to fold my card bases I have these lighter card bases um, that I don't even have to score these like I just don't um, this is what paper is this this is Spring Hill Digital 110 pound index card so this was the first card I ever started using for my card bases and you can actually watercolor on this card really beautifully, but it is obviously, it's kind of like a Michael's uh, 65 pound weight. And I have transitioned, it depends, but I've mostly transitioned to a, dark, a heavier card stock. Unless my cards have a lot of layers and then a heavier card stock is just overkill at that point. Um, and you're gonna pay more in postage. So if I'm gonna make a card with a lot of layers on it. I actually prefer a lighter cardstock as a base. And then what I do, I'll show y'all with this card. Because then the front will be all sturdy, right? Because it's got layers and layers of paper. But then the back is gonna be whatever the back was when you started with your cardstock. So now the front is super sturdy and the back is bendy. I don't like that. I don't like the contrast. So what I do is I have a bunch of these um, pre-cut. They're four by five and a quarter and I just layer these inside 
And I always like to have a lot of these cut because they make just great bases for me to start with if I'm gonna do mixed media or whatever. So now the back is sturdy and the front is sturdy. Okay, Jean, and I would love for you to do it. Let me tell you, girl, um, that you have to get them in by November 1st. So how you do it is go over to Mindless Crafting. Dawn, honey, are you still here? <laughs> Dawn, if you're here, do you mind popping a link to uh, Mindless Crafting in the chat for everyone? Um, so Mindless Crafting is hosting the the card drive. They do at least one a year, but usually like two card drives a year. They pick an organization and bless them with cards. So what you will do, Jean, is you can make some cards, but they do have like specific guidelines of what you can and can't use. Like you can't use embellishments, like you can't use any glitter or Nouveau drops or embellishments like that, but you can put twine or ribbon on them. Um, there's just certain, um, rules that they have. Okay. Um, so I want you to go and check that out first before you get to making, but you do have plenty of time to get them in the mail. And if yours were to arrive on November 1st, they're still going to be included. Um, probably even I'm not running the car drive, but probably even if they came on November 3rd, they would be included. But November 1st is the technical cutoff. Um, so far at last check-in, when I was watching them, they had 4,100 cards, <laughs> which is just amazing. I love that. I, in fact, I know a lot of my friends here have sent cards in, and I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, just thank you, thank you. I love that you're blessing others. No glitter, bling, yeah, exactly. Um, but what a great cause. So here's the other thing, Jean. We're supposed to leave the insides of the cards completely blank like this. Um, because what they're going to do is give these cards to the soldiers. Let the soldiers, you know, get them and come. I don't know where, whatever. Um, they're going to basically give these to the soldiers so that the soldiers can take this write a message to a loved one and mail it home. So these are cards to bless them in that way, which I love. Here are our cards, you guys. I've been on for 20 minutes, gabbing up a storm, but we have made four awesome cards for the soldiers. So fabulous, right? Okay, let's see. I've still got four more. Um, I was trying for a hundred and I'm going to have more like 50 or 60 cards and that's okay. You know, just send what you can. You don't have to send some exorbitant amount of cards. I will tell you because I've run a card drive myself that when everybody does something, it adds up so fast. So in my Uvalde card drive, I had 500, almost exactly 500 people participate and send cards. I had 20,000 cards. Some people sent um, five cards, 10 cards. I had a friend who sent a thousand cards. I am not exaggerating. She just kept sending cards. I don't even know how. <laughs> but, um, I had organizations send cards. So like churches, um, would get the women's groups and even the children's group together and they sent cards. So, you know, everything adds up is all I'm trying to say. So don't wear yourself out thinking you need to make a hundred. That's why I'm going to give myself grace. And if I send 50, that will bless, you know probably a hundred people and it'll bless the soldier and it'll bless whoever he's sending it to. And I'm good with that. I am good with that. We'll see if loved this or, Oh yes, makes it. 
Um, there's probably more sentiments. We will find them in here. Let's see what else we've got to work with. We don't, I don't think we really have any more tickets. So as you can tell, I'm just kind of changing things up here, but getting my layers on. Okay. And then I gotta go. Okay. I don't even, guys, I don't need anything. I need to get rid of stuff. But when we go on these thrift sort of dates uh, with grandma, it's really just about being together. It's really not about the shopping. Well, for Sparkle Heart, it is about the shopping. <laughs> There's all these hearts in here. Let's see, maybe I can, those colors don't match. Sorry, don't mind me as I just kind of rifle through all of this ephemera over here that you can't, well, I guess you can see me, that's good, okay. Oh, happy day, that'll work. Okay. All right, I wasn't planning on taking up a lot of y'all's time too, because I wanna see you this afternoon over on Lynn's channel um, for our junk journal making. I'm so excited for her. She's uh, going in uncharted territory. I'm hoping to win her over to the dark side of paper crafting called junk journaling. <laughs> ah, I'm silly. Okay. I think we have enough. All right. All right. I think that's good. This is meant to go back here. Like so. Ooh, that purple and red's popping, y'all. We got some pink. Let's do that. That's fine. I think this is even fine. I kind of want one more piece in here. Are y'all having fun? Dawn, you're the best. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much. One, for always just being my friend. And two, a moderator and sharing links. Thank you, babe. All right, let's see. Ooh, I like this. You guys, I have decided to do a virtual class for the in-person junk journaling class I'm teaching here in Georgetown, Texas. Um, I am gonna do a virtual class. Get Put a one in the chat if you would be interested in a virtual junk journaling class. Before I go through the trouble of recording it <laughs> and editing it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm real. Okay, that's that. And then this kind of is going to come back here like this. Maybe, maybe tulips where someone's like, wedding flower. It was mine. Yep. Tulips. Every color of tulips that I could possibly find. I had the biggest bouquet. It was kind of ridiculous, but also fabulous. I mean, if you can't have a ridiculous bouquet of tulips on your wedding day, then when can you? Oh, cool. I see some ones. Yay. Okay, that's not right. We need something. Ooh, let's put a big heart. Not a black heart. Not the vibe we're going for. My friend needs some happy divorce cards, she said. So I think that that might be where the black heart goes. Okay. Not that I advocate for that, but... Uh, from the stories, it sounds like it was what was best. Okay, I kind of want color here. All right, let's glue this down. 
or else you know what's going to happen. <laughs> Where is the ephemera from? Hey, Amy. Um, the ephemera, all the bits are from this garden, Spectrum Gardenia, 49th and Market um, release. This is this um, die cut included 145 pieces. It came in this big old bag, which of course this can be used and it will be used. Um, here's a snapshot of everything that came in it. I think this was like seven dollars, maybe eight dollars over on Mindless Crafty. Um, they had a live at midnight last night, which usually I'm. You know, I'm an early riser, so I'm usually never awake for that. But I happened to be awake because we had just gotten back from the show. And um, they ran a sale 25% off of everything in the shop during the live, which was really cool. They also have some really neat giveaways. And I would definitely tell you to subscribe to their newsletter because they do like 30% off here and there and run sales and their pricing already is is you know good but just so you know where you can kind of save a little let's see if I can get this put back relatively the way it was before yeah so 4 p.m. today I will be hanging out with Lynn over on LV Handmade, her channel. Um, this week coming up on my channel, I have, oh my goodness, I, I hacked something yesterday. So I have a junk journal hack. It's, it's all about, um, you know, junk envelopes. So I have never really used those junk envelopes that you get in the mail because I've never wanted to fiddle with covering little spaces to keep the windows open. Like it just always seemed like too fiddly for me. But then I came up with an idea and now that has all changed. So that's coming up on my channel. I have a card coming up on my channel. Um, just a fun little card for a teenage boy, which I know that's just something that we can all use, you know, more ideas for. So that's coming up on my channel this week. And then a surprise. And what's that surprise? I don't know because I don't even know what it is. It's just, I've got to make another video sometime this weekend. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> oh my goodness. Aww, how is your puppy? I know it's been keeping you busy, but I'm sure it's worth every moment. That is so fun. My kids want another dog. They want a puppy. Uh, but they don't pay the vet bills. And our dog, she... She's special. She is very special. But she also just has like a really special digestive system and she's always needing a little extra help. So it makes me and Dr. Shrub a little nervous to commit to another dog because she already requires extra. She's extra. And she's a big dog and the groomer just went up. So another $50. So now it's $150 every time I need to get her groomed, which is three times a year. So yeah, we have to think about it. That's not where that was before, but I'm okay with it. I do think I'll put some foam tape back there. You guys, I don't know about you. Have you ever hoarded phone tape? I have. And uh, I've been determined to just use it up. Use it up. I think I've hoarded everything when it comes to craft supplies. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm zoomed out so much. I had to do that when I was getting all four cards set up at once. But that's okay. We're almost done here is going to make my mom real happy and my daughter. I 
I want to show you basically, uh, you know, fast card making, hang out with you, have some fun, tell you about the live today. Hi, empty nest scrapper. How are you? Truth and reason. I didn't see you pop in here. Hi. I'm going to be up in your neck of the woods. Um, at the end of October, one of my brothers just bought a new house up in North Texas by the Oklahoma, Texas border. And I have a grand niece and a grand nephew mm -hmm, that <laughs> were born and I need to go see them. So yeah, we're also going to go uh, see if luck will be a lady and have a little slot machine fun at the casino. We've passed by it probably 50 times and never stopped. And Dr. Shrub wants to go for his birthday. So we are gonna go and hopefully win big. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? What if I could win, pay off all my debt and become a full-time crafter? I mean, a girl's got a dream, right? That'd be amazing. That would be amazing. But I'd be happy with any winnings. I'm just that way. We always like to buy a ticket, a lottery ticket, when about the only time we ever buy it is when we go like on a trip or a vacation because we're like, maybe we won't have to go back to work on Monday if we win the lottery right now. And it's so funny because we'll be like, we want to win the lottery and we'll win the lottery, but it'll be like 15 bucks. It's like, well, that's not going to do it. <laughs> Natasha, hey sweetie. Hey, are you Natasha? Are you going to that um Colleen Craft Fair Craft Con? Thanks for sending me that. I'm sorry, I was on a date with a hubby last night and um I couldn't respond more than awesome. But what I meant to, <laughs> if I had more dive, I would have asked you then, are you going? What's your plans? And thanks for passing that. <laughs> passing that along to me. I need to be a part of that next year. I want to go to a craft con and have a booth. That would be fun. I love in-person stuff. Lou David's here. Hey, girl. Oh, thanks. These are my craft roulette nails. They're holding on. They are holding on. They're um, looking a little worse for wear. Some of the pearl is coming off, but... It's fun. It's fun to change it up every once in a while. They, the nails hinder me in bow tying, but help me in other ways. So it's a, it's a mixed bag. <laughs> they look better than the alternative. I will say that. <laughs> it's just not something I could keep up with. I love that, Natasha. Thanks for being my crafty friend. I can't wait to see you. Natasha's coming to my um, in-person workshop in Georgetown. And I can't wait. Uh, Natasha and I met also at a scrapbook expo. Gosh, Nat Natasha, was that a year ago or two years? Like, time just seems so weird now. <laughs> Look who's calling. <laughs> she has good timing. All right, let me show you these cards that I got to go thrifting with my mama. All right. So, yay. It is a beautiful life. And you guys, y'all make my life, like, real beautiful. So, thank you, every single one of you. Jesse, hi. Uh, here is this. Jesse, did you see my message about all the freebies and to go over to Antonio Makes channel? He had a video this last week and everyone do this, but all about like um, free places to get images online. Um, Jesse's on a spending freeze. Hope you don't mind me telling the world, Jess. And um, anyways, girl, I'm going to be on a spending freeze too. Unless I win at the casino. 
Okay, and then we saw these. Thanks for hanging out with me. What was meant to be a 30 minute live went a little bit over. That's exactly how it always goes, so yeah. But we got eight more cards made um, for Mindless Crafting for the Soldiers. Okay, some horizontal, yay. Some are vertical, yay. And I have gotta ship these off this week and his page does rock. I have, I need to tell the story to everyone later. I have a special story about Antonio. In a nutshell, I had less than a hundred subscribers on my channel and he found me and was like, I think you're an awesome crafter. I love your videos and I just wanted to come in here and say to keep going and don't ever give up and keep making those videos. And I was like, oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> and so Antonio has a special place in my heart. I love his energy. I love what he gives our community. And so when I got a chance to be on his creative team for a bit, I, I had to take it because he'll always have a place in my heart. Anyways, like all of you. So, love you guys. I'm out. Come check me out later today if you have time. 4 p.m. Central Time, I'm pretty sure. Her reminder's already set, and it's in my community page. A link to her video where I will be live. And we will be making junk journals, so bring your junk. Alright, love you guys. Bye!